welcome back to my channel and welcome to day 18 of 25 days of YouTube. We have less than 10 days left. That's crazy. We've got like a week left. <laughs> that's, that's insane. Anyway, today I'm going to share with you guys some of my current favorites from this last year or so. I don't know, I don't do favorites videos all that often, so just on occasion when I think of some things, I throw them out there. Alright, so I guess we'll start with TV shows. I've got three favorites of the moment. I've been watching all of Nashville through my Netflix DVDs. I've been watching The Ranch, which is another Netflix original one. And then I also watched the Good Place on Netflix. I don't have cable, so all of my TV is through Netflix. But those are like the three main things that I'm like super into right now. Unfortunately, The Good Place only has like one season on Netflix, I believe. And I mean, it's airing the second season like currently, so you just gotta wait for it. Um, the Ranch, I believe, has another season out by the time this video goes up. And Nashville is currently airing its last season, but I think I've watched three seasons of it through Netflix. I think so. I think it's three. So, yeah. Those are what I am currently freaking obsessed with, in love with, all that stuff. I've also obviously watched like the Gilmore Girls, Year in the Life stuff a couple different times. And Fuller House. I'm keeping up with that whenever it comes out. So yeah, those are the TV shows that I'm currently just like focused on, trying to keep up with the best you can when all you've got is Netflix. <laughs> Normally I also keep up with Once Upon a Time, but I decided to not buy that through Amazon this season like I have in the past. So instead I am waiting for that current season to wrap up and Netflix so yeah I read that they did like a time jump so I'm kind of looking forward to it but also like iffy on it you know all right so current favorite music um I got an Amazon Echo from my mom last Christmas I want to say and I keep it down in my kitchen so that I can listen to music and stuff and it's like super cool. You just go through like Pandora radio and connect everything. And basically you have like unlimited music with just like the few Pandora ads or whatever, which like if that bothers you, obviously you can like pay for something, but it really doesn't bother me that much. Anyway, none of that is sponsored. I'm really just throwing out how I listen to music. So anyway, um, the main thing that I've been listening to is the Fratelli's radio. And if you've never heard of the Fratelli's, you should totally go check them out but yeah basically every time I'm in my kitchen I just tell my Echo to play the Fratelli's radio through Pandora and it gives me obviously mainly their music and then a lot of things that sound like their music so if you've got Pandora at least you can go check that out favorite candle of the moment is this guy cinnamon spiced vanilla it is from Bath and Body Works and it smells so good I think I put it in a haul video but I don't really remember anyway let's see the fragrance notes are fresh ground cinnamon sugar crystals and Tahitian vanilla bean which maybe that's why I like it is because it's just very simple and to the point and just like what's right there on the title is what is in the candle <laughs> you know none of this like weird extra stuff but the other candle that I was obsessed with this last year, and I think I threw away the jar whenever I finished it, which would make sense, but you'd be amazed at how often I don't do that. Um, they've got a stress relief one. It's the green one. I don't remember what all was in it, like eucalyptus or minty something. I don't know. I used to have the lotion too. <laughs> like I was really obsessed with that scent, but I used to have the lotion. Burn through the whole candle. And I'm just stressed all the time. It's a good way to be. <laughs> Makeup favorites. I've talked about this 
multiple, multiple times, I'm pretty sure. But the Vitalist Healthy Elixir from CoverGirl, this one is like empty, basically. I'm sure I could get like a little bit more out of it if I like dumped it upside down. The pump part stopped like pumping more out of it. But yeah, I love this stuff. I absolutely love the way that it makes my skin look. It's just like so perfect and I have really oily skin and it like does not break apart because of that. So this stuff is just amazing. Really the only downside to it is that it tends to oxidize quite a bit, but I mean, I'm pretty pale to begin with, so I can't be too mad about it. And honestly, as long as you know that beforehand, you can just kind of go pick a color knowing that it's going to oxidize and kind of adjust for it. So the other one I've been loving lately is the e.l.f. foundation. Um, it's like their poreless foundation or something. They really, they should put something on here, but they don't. But this one has an SPF of 15, which is awesome. And I just really like the way that this formula is and the way it sits on my skin. And yeah, it's a win. And then another makeup favorite also comes from e.l.f. and it is their eyeshadow palette. And what is it? Matte for Plum. These do have quite a bit of like fallout and they'll like, they're very powdery, but the colors are freaking beautiful and I am in love with them. So don't write it off just because it's cheap. You should totally try it out anyway because sometimes you find really good things. And last up for this favorites video is clothing. So scooch over here a little bit so I can pop some pictures up. First off, this outfit from my Christmas outfits video. Honestly, I had not put this outfit together until the day that I filmed this video, and I'm in love with it. Like, it's probably one of my favorite outfits that I've ever put together for a video in general. And yeah, I will definitely be wearing it again because I just think that looks bomb. <laughs> like, I'm just in love with it, completely. Um, the other thing that I've been really loving this year, obviously I'm a big fan of like cold weather clothing, so I love like sweatshirts like this one and my You Had Me at Merlot shirt. Um, and then obviously this hoodie you've seen, it's not really a hoodie I guess, it's a pullover, it doesn't have a hood, but this pullover you've probably seen in multiple videos in just this series alone and I actually got it from my best friend before he moved and it's like one of my favorite things ever to wear, especially around my house. I wear it like every morning when I let my dog out. Yeah, it's a nice way to feel close to a friend and plus it's just warm and comfy because guys clothes get to be all nice and thin and still be warm. <laughs> and that is it for this video. If you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my channel already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and leave me a comment down below with some of your favorites from this year or this month or, I don't know, today. <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!